So far, we've used the Curve Creation tool to create layers using the Shapes Generator. But the two icons just below it provide two other methods for creating paths. Let's focus on the first icon and hold down the left mouse button. Here we can access two different tools, Draw Rectangle and Draw Ellipse. The Shape Stroke style is still active, so we just need to click and hold down the left mouse button to draw a rectangle. While drawing this rectangle, we can press the Control or Command key to draw it from its center. We can also press the Shift key to control the rectangle's ratio and make it a square. These two constraints can be combined. As you can see, this rectangle, like any other path, is made up of control points, and it appears in path group 1. We can use editing tools to refine these points. The rectangle tool allows us to define a path exactly like the others, but with a predefined shape, and this path is called rectangle in the hierarchy. There is another, similar tool for creating ellipses. You can follow the same process with the Control or Command shortcuts to draw the shape from its center, and the Shift key to define a perfect circle. Here again, after releasing the mouse button, we get a conventional path like before, but with a predefined shape that can be modified with editing tools. These two tools allow you to create rectangular or elliptical shapes with the possibility of integrating them into a path group, just like any other path drawn with the creation tool. You can then combine them with other shapes. In this video, we went over how to define elliptical and rectangular shapes and use keyboard shortcuts to draw shapes from their center or with a perfect ratio before editing them.